but I'm not gonna lie to you, I've filmed this so many times. Oh, you can see me in the back mirror. Hey! Hey guys, it's Romy, if you didn't know already. And this is my first video, and I'm very excited to bring it to you. Today I'm gonna do an answering your questions video, so you can get to know me a bit better before I dive in with loads of different videos. I decided to start YouTube because, you know, why not? Why not? So, you know, we're gonna go with it. I really need a drink of water. I drank a whole cup of hot chocolate. Because I am a pure child. I feel like I need to put some lip gloss on. Oh, jeez. Honestly, new room, I've already wrecked it. Right, I need to stop smacking my lips if I wear this lip gloss though. Because in the video that I filmed yesterday, same video, every single sentence, after that sentence I'll go. What is that habit? What is it? Please tell me, because I'm confused. What am I doing in my life? Right, so today we are going to do an answering your questions video. I think I've already said that. I'm on your ass. Like, why is everything crying on cash? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lee with it, rock with it, lee with it. I need to stop and get on with the video. Let's go. So number one is what year are you in at school? I'm year 10, going into year 11 in September. So yeah. Um, number two, what is your relationship status? I am single and to be honest, it's gonna remain that way because I am enjoying it. I'm living my best life on my own. I don't need a man. Number three is what are your hobbies? My hobbies are singing, dancing and acting. I love all three of them. And I go to the Brit School to do that. I study musical theatre there. Um, and yeah, it's my passion and I love it. Uh, number four, what's your favourite thing about yourself? I don't really have a favourite thing. I do, I am, this isn't even on myself, like this isn't part of me, well it is, but my eyelash extensions, I will put um, my lash lady's Instagram on the screen somewhere, because she is bomb.com, I've still got half a set on and it's been four to five weeks, I'm loving them so much, and straight when I get out of quarantine I'm booking a new appointment. I would also say my personality because I'm quite a fun person. Number five, do you have any insecurities? If so, what? Yes, I have many insecurities. So many that I'm not gonna list them all because we'd be here forever, I'm not even joking you. But I'm learning to deal with them because that's what makes me me. And um, they're a part of me and I've got to learn to either fix them if they're fixable or to start not worrying about them if they are long term and yeah but one of my I'm just gonna say one of my insecurities is singing in front of people that is all to be said about that because you will never ever ever get me to sing in front of people like rarely I do and if I do I'm so quiet or I literally start shaking. Yeah, so basically, I'm just gonna talk about this quick, about my singing experience, right? So me, my friend Neve, and my friend Maya, um, at my old school, were in a music GCSE lesson, and we had to compose our own song. And we used my song, and it was all right, but we didn't have anyone who could play any other instruments than the piano, and so, yeah, it was awful and I started shaking and we had to listen to it in front of the whole class and I hid under the table and almost passed out. Good experience for me, but yeah, I literally hated it so much. Um, number six, what skincare products do you use? So, this is the first time I have worn makeup in a very long time because obviously we've been in lockdown and don't feel the need to wear any because you know that's just how it is um but 
obviously I do use skincare because um, since February I've been struggling with my skin a bit, a bit more than usual because my skin is generally very good. Yeah, so I invested in loads of skincare products to use and the ones that are really working for me are the Tropic Super Green Serum, which um, is for your complexion and it um, hydrates and um, makes your skin appear more healthy and it also has sorted out some discoloration in my um, in my cheeks which are is really good and I love that for me um, I also use bio oil for acne scars um, just to get rid of the scars that I don't really appreciate being on my face so yeah, they sort that sorts that out. I use some spot gel from Ren Skincare and just a cleanser, which isn't really anything special, to wash my makeup off and wash my face in the morning. So, next question is heartbreak advice. All I'm saying is I've got a lot on this, a lot of advice on this. And to be honest, um, it's different for everyone, everyone heals at different times, the circumstances and situations can be different, so I'm not going to generalise everything, but I'm just going to say something that goes for everyone. Do not think that there is a problem or an issue or you feel like you have to change because the relationship did not work. Because honestly, it didn't happen, it didn't work for a reason. And everything happens for a reason. And it's basically just got you out of a relationship so you can find that perfect person. So do not think there's anything wrong with you. And to remember your worth is another one. You're worth the world and don't think otherwise. Just because the other person in the relationship does not want a relationship with you doesn't mean another person won't and yeah um number eight what is your dream job i would say obviously being in the career i am in now and yeah that's pretty much it being in the career now i am now um being on a west end musical would be amazing and then into film production that's the ideal but obviously it's very hard to get into that industry and be successful so if that all goes down the drain i would love to be a lawyer so i know it's a bit of a career change but that's the backup that guy's looking at me hey boo right um what's your favorite thing about being at the brit school um my friends my bestest friends Love them all. Kira, May and Lucy. Love yous. Um, they are one of the main reasons why I get out of bed at six in the morning and go to school. Yeah, also being able to do what I love every day of my life and being around like-minded people and being able to be dedicated and motivated by the people around you is really easy and a very nice atmosphere to be around and everyone is so lovely so lovely like there's no judgment at all at that school and i love it so much that is the brit school matter number 10 is what kind of music do you listen to so i listen to pretty much anything yeah r b is one of my faves and lewis capaldi is my favorite person in the whole entire world to listen to Oh my god, his voice, his songs, just everything. Love it. Where do you get most of your clothes from and what's your favourite shop? I don't have a favourite shop. That is the answer to that question because that is impossible to answer. And um, where do I get most of my clothes from? I don't really get it from a specific shop, but I would say the top five would be O Pulley for like party dresses and like going out stuff. Misguided, Pull and Bear, Topshop, Pretty Little Thing, and Boohoo and I Saw It First, all of that lot. But I would like to change up my style a bit, um, just because I'm pretty basic at the moment. And um, yeah, I would like to 
switch it up of what videos are you going to post in the future anything you guys want to see i'm gonna say because i don't want to be boring and i don't want to be basic but obviously i want to listen to what you guys want to see because if you aren't enjoying the videos that i'm filming there's no point of doing this so yeah that's what i'm gonna say about that what is your favorite thing about being in lockdown and and do you have any suggestions of good things to do during it? So I am enjoying nothing about lockdown. That's a lie. Yeah, I just really don't like being away from my friends and not being able to go out and enjoy myself. But I am surviving and I appreciate the reasons that we are doing this lockdown and I will be very happy to come out of quarantine when it is all over. Uh, good things to do during it, I would say keep yourself busy, pick something that you want to improve on or you don't normally do or you want to learn and learn how to do it, that's what I've been doing, I've been trying to do this dance move for about four weeks now, I still can't do it but I haven't been practicing every day so, but yeah I'm trying to and I'm also trying to do the Aladdin dance on TikTok and it has taken me half, like half the month to learn how to do it. But I'm almost there, so I'm quite proud of myself, I can't lie. Number 14, what's your favourite show that you've performed in? So I would say for musicals, The Railway Children, I was Phyllis and I absolutely loved it. Such a great experience. But for dance shows... I would obviously have to say the drag show at my school. It was on a different level of amazing. Oh, I just love it so much and I miss doing it, but I will guarantee you I'll be auditioning. Next year, I was a backup dancer for these two drag queens. And how long have you been dancing for? So I've been dancing for 12 years. I've been to three different dance schools and I am going to carry on dancing. So. Um, number 16 is what workouts do you do? Okay, so I'm going to put like a screen recording here because it's kind of hard to explain. But there's this app called Workouts for Women. And I do mainly butt and bikini body and abs. And basically you pick all the like workouts you want to do. You can like heart them, favourite them. And then you click on them and it shows you all the exercises that you're going to do. And you press start and then it counts you in, uh, tells you how long you've got to do it, counts you down, gives you rests, tell you, tells you when to drink. Um, and it's really good. And it also comes with music to work out to, but you don't have to use that. You can just play your normal music anyways. That's what I do, but yeah. And I'm on my way to achieving my goal on what I want my body to look like but it's still not there so yeah there's room for improvement but it is working um the last one is I want to start a channel but I don't have the confidence how did you find the confidence to start one I just go with the mindset of you live your life for yourself and no one else who cares what anyone else thinks? If you're doing what makes you happy, then it's all fine. It's all fine and you do what makes you happy and if you really want to do a YouTube channel, do it. Thank you for watching. And um, I'd really appreciate if you um, have any suggestions, you let me know of what you want to see. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you didn't like it, don't subscribe, that's fine. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you soon for another video.